Good afternoon. I start with my fourth channel video. In it, I will talk about the essential principles of the profession of lawyer. I will list them and then I will go the challenge one by one. One, the independence and freedom to guarantee defense and advice to the client. Two, respect for professional secrecy and the confidentiality of matter that concern it. Three, the prevention of conflict of interest either between several clients or between the client and me as a lawyer. For dignity, honor, and integrity. Five, loyalty to my client. Six, brevity regarding fix. Seven, professional competence. Eight, respect for the fellowship. Nine, respect for the rule of law and the contribution to the proper administration of justice. Then the survey regulation of the profession. One, independence and freedom to guarantee the funds and customer advice. Independence. As a lion, I practice my profession with total freedom and independence away from external pressure. I am going to clarify it. Of course, that the indication that you give me as clients are worth talking to accounts, but if with this indication you don't reach the best possible solution for you, I will not follow them because it is all time to search and find the best solution for your problem or your legal consultation. Freedom to guarantee the funds. This freedom of salarian encompasses the right to for freedom of defense and the duty to defend freely and by my client. I must exercise within the parameters of good faith and legal norm. This is civil and criminal responsibility. The penalty is given by the following circumstances: disclosure of outside secret, professional scam, money laundering, documentary falsification, false witness or respect of interpreter, objection of justice and professional disloyalty, abuse of function, destroying or hidden documents, revelation of secret statement by judicial holder, defense of contrary interest or detriment of the client. Client advice. This freedom is for both the client and me as a lawyer. The client has the right of choice and the law way to. In fact, as a lawyer, a matter can be accepted or rejected at the beginning or on initiative, provided that the client is not caused by a defenseless situation. Two. Respect for the professional secret and the confidentiality of the matter that occupy you. This principle may be the most interesting and most controversial at the same time. It's even a thing you tell me protected by professional secrecy, that is, it is between you. Can it have a wired character? Are there any exceptions to maintain professional secrecy? Do you have a deadline? Being an hour, I must keep the professional secret of everything you tell me. In fact, I cannot be forced to testify about it. I be forced to do so. It is considered a very serious infraction and I have criminal responsibility for a prison center of one to three years. I think of 12 to 24 months and a special disqualification for my profession of two to six years. The secret has an inalienable character with which the authorization of the client has never announced not to respect it. Professional secrecy is maintained both in the relationship with the client and in the relationship between lawyers. Exception to maintain professional secrecy in relation to money laundering. There are two assumptions. If my advice is second to the execution of the activity that constitutes it in an obligate subject, that is, for example, fit the creator of honor of a screen company, there is professional secrecy. If my action is prior and my advice joins the management 
for the creation of this company, there is no professional secret. Professional secrecy is unlimited in time and does depend on whether the client continue to be so or not. You can never reveal the conversation or the fact or new now doubts them. Professional secrecy also includes secret statement declared by judicial authority, penalty of a fine of 12 to 24 months and a special disqualification for employing public office professional trial of one to four years. Three, the prevention of conflict of interest well among various customers or between the client and I am salaried. It should always be avoided both among clients and between lawyer and client. If I advise a client and cannot subsequently advise another, it does entail conflicting interest. Or if to defend the new one, I must use confidential information from the previous one. If there is a conflict of interest between two or more clients, I must renounce the defense of both. Except express authorization of law to intervene in favor of any of them for dignity, honor, and integrity in all my action, both before the administration of justice and before my colleague. Respect and dignity must always prevail. There is a widespread trust of society in my profession. Five customer loyalty. You will always be loyal to you since I greatly value the trust you place in me. And I hope this loyalty is reciprocal. In loyalty also include professional secrecy and refer to what we see in Supra. Six, privity in free office. That is, fair treatment of customer in relation to fees. On the custom sheet prior to starting any matter, this is a specific hidden where they come fully broken down. Fees are provided for existence. There is a freedom of pack between the client and me. 7. Professional competition. You can be calm and will never accept an issue as I don't consider myself fit to handle it. 8. Respect for professional companions. I must always act with respect and in a courteous manner toward the rest of my classmates. Regardless of whether it is the opposite lawyer or not. 9. Respect for the state of law and the administration of justice. Both in writing that it, I directly and personally. I must never deliberately give false information to the court or lie to see parties in the course of my activity. 10. Advocacy self regulation. Most you repair. Advocacies apply state regulation and their own regulation. The Council of the Europe Advocacy is so that only a strong self regulation can guarantee that lawyers work with total independence from the state. Finally, I would like to know for you what principle do you think are more important? Leave me in the comments. That's that's I always read. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to watch each new video. For any matter that you need me as a lawyer, you can contact me through the info that I have left in the description box.